Hi and welcome to Graphing Linear Equations. This is a bonus lesson where we are putting together graphing lines no matter what they look like when they're given to you and can you tell the difference? I am so glad that you are here. Today you are going to need a pencil, your straight edge, your Jaguar jots. It's going to say 4.4 and 4.5 review at the top. You will definitely need your straight edge and some perseverance and determination to get through today's lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. So when you look at today's lesson, we have two different examples. This one is in standard form and this one is already in slope intercept form. When you look at them, you need to make sure that you just don't get overwhelmed, that you look at it and go, I can do this problem no matter what it looks like. So when I look at a problem in standard form, I look at my Y's. If my Y it looks fairly simple, I tend to turn it into slope intercept form right off the bat. I'm hoping almost always that I turn it into slope intercept form just because I don't want to deal with fractions when I'm putting it into the intercept form. But sometimes the intercept form is actually much easier. So for example, I'm looking at the fact that y doesn't have any coefficient, which means I'm really not going to be dividing by anything that could possibly give me fractions. So in this case, I am going to go with intercepts. So I'm going to let x equal 0. So I end up with 5x minus y equals 5. So 5 times 0 minus y equals 5. So that's 0 minus y equals 5. Negative y equals 5. I can't have a negative y, so I'm going to multiply that by negative 1. So y equals negative 5. So this is the point 0, negative 5. So over 0, down 5. That's my y-intercept. I've already found it. So now I'm going to let y equal 0. So 5x minus y equals 5. So 5x minus 0 equals 5. So 5x equals 5. So I'm going to divide by 5. So x is 1. So this is the point 1, 0. Over 1 and 0. So that was very, very straightforward because my y didn't have any coefficient on it. We look for hints like that to help us. Now, because we're learning, I do want to go ahead and show you had I used the other method, what would have happened? So 5x minus y equals 5. If I subtracted 5x off both sides, I would have had negative y equals negative 5x plus 5. But I can't have a negative y. So let's say I multiply by negative 1 on both sides. So this would have been a positive y. Negative times a negative is positive, And a negative times positive is a negative. So I would have had that m is equal to a 5 over 1. So that would have been up and right. And that b was equal to negative 5, which we already had. And do you see that it does put me still in the same place? Here's my 5, and then I would have gone up 5 and over 1. And I would have ended up in the exact same place. I would have done about the same amount of work, maybe less. But this right here was still very straightforward. So either one would have worked just fine. This one right here is absolutely already in y equals mxb form. So my slope is negative 3 over 7, down 3, right 7. And then b is 4, which is the point 0, 4. So remember, b begin, m move. So I need to begin at 4. And then I need to move down 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I could reverse it and go backwards. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Those are all going to be on the same line. And there's my answer. So you do need to be able to tell the difference between standard form and point slope form at a glance. Remember, standard form is all the variables are on one side. Point slope form is when it's y equals. So there you have it. That is a quick review of all the stuff smashed together. And I hope that you took the time to pause this and take some notes. Try out the problems on your own. 
So what I would like you to do is I would like you to review some problems that are in your textbook and try this technique on those. And I cannot wait until I see you in the next lesson. Remember, be kind to each other because we can all use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.